So according to Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed Red is going to be the introduction to the new era of Assassin's Creed, a type of Assassin's Creed game that we have never seen or experienced before. That's why I thought that making this video is going to be important, especially now, because I have a lot of features that I want to talk about that we had in previous Assassin's Creed games that will last along the way with each new generation. Just to be clear and put out my parameters, I think that stuff that are in Valhalla and Mirage are probably gonna carry over to the new game and stuff that are in the games before that we might lose along the way. So every feature that I'm gonna be talking about today is a feature that was in a previous game that is not in Valhalla and Mirage. But before I start getting into it, if you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. I talk about Assassin's Creed and every subscription is very much appreciated. Thank you and let's get into it. Let's start with feature number five that I want Assassin's Creed to bring back in the new games and that's the brotherhood aspect. I just finished playing through the Ezio trilogy, I made videos about each game on my channel and I had a blast building my Assassin Brotherhood with Ezio. I really think they added a lot to the game and to the vibe of the game and to the world and Ezio being a master assassin. When you actually see his assassins come and go through the game you get to customize them, you get to send them on missions, you get to make money off of them, they can help you in the open world as well. That was a really nice touch. There's a ton to do with these assassins and I think they added a lot to the game. Just having this little background mini game to have throughout the rest of the game really I think adds a lot to the whole world of the game. Now yeah, it's gonna be a little hard to put it in the story of the game, depending on who the main character is. But there are a lot of variations that we had throughout the years of this kind of system. We had it in Assassin's Creed Black Flag with the Edward Kenway fleet system where you can get ships and send those on missions. We had it in Assassin's Creed, like I said, Brotherhood and uh, Revelations game. We had a lot of different kinds of systems that are mini games that we have in the background as you play the rest of the game, which make you feel connected to the world and it makes you feel like you're having an effect on it. We didn't have this system as to my knowledge, we didn't have it since like Unity or Syndicate and I think it's a really nice thing to bring back because it adds just more gameplay value to the game and it makes the world feel more alive, you can actually see and feel your impact in it. Other than sending the assassins on missions in Assassin's Creed Revelations for example, you can get them out to help you in the open world of the game which is also a lot of fun, you can send them on specific targets in the open world to assassinate them, which helps you with traversal, helps you with combat, helps you with exploration, and it helps you see Ezio as the mentor that he is. And I really think that would be an amazing idea to have in the new games that we have been missing for a while. And if, you need to, if Ubisoft wants to make us feel like we are controlling this master assassin and not just any day assassin, then this might be a really good feature to bring back in Assassin's Creed Codename Red. Feature number four that I would like to see return is multiplayer. Now to be honest, I started playing Assassin's Creed with Black Flag so I didn't get to experience the multiplayer of Brotherhood in its prime, but I did play a bit of Assassin's Creed Black Flag Brotherhood and that was fun, it was a nice change of pace, it was different from every other multiplayer game out there, it's based on stealth and being smart and not just which action shooter stuff so i think it's a nice thing to have in the whole gaming world as a whole as a multiplayer game but also it would add a lot to the value of the game it would be a nice break from pace when you compare it to the story and how that goes but yeah it would be a really nice thing to have and i think it would add a lot to the value of the game especially if you can unlock cosmetics throughout it to use in the main game and to be honest if i want to play devil's advocate Ubisoft can monetize it to shit, they already have the bundles in the game, they already sell those for very expensive prices, they could just use them in the multiplayer. They would make more money, we would have more options, it would be a win-win. Yeah, it would be monetized and it would slowly and very surely turn into Call of Duty, it's a slippery slope, as we know nowadays with most games, but it would be useful. I think it would add a lot of replay value, a lot of fun, a nice break from pace, also from the main story, but as a whole from gaming community. It would be a nice type of different multiplayer to have that is not just shooting people with twitch emotions, twitch reactions. Feature number three that I would like to see return is parkour. 
specifically the parkour of Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this connects to other stuff that we had in Unity. I would also like to see the co-op return in the game. Just going around the open world with your friends seems like fun. I never got to experience it, but it does seem like an amazing next step to have in Assassin's Creed. But let's focus on the parkour. Just having a parkour system that's fun to explore and mess around with really adds too much to the game. And if you think about it, most games, open world games that are fun, they focus on their traversal. The big reason everyone likes Spider-Man for PlayStation 4 and 5 is because web swinging feels so good. The big reason everyone loves Assassin's Creed in the first place is because the parkour felt so good. I like the parkour more in the Ezio trilogy. I know that's really controversial to say, but actually I do prefer it. I feel like it has a higher skill gap. But I also love the one in Unity and it's arguably a lot more flashy and more fun than Ezio. But either one of those would be really nice to have back in Assassin's Creed. I know that Mirage did a lot to bring back the feeling of parkour and traversal, but I don't think it did enough. I think it still feels kind of sluggish and too similar to Valhalla. I would like to have kind of new options to use, you know, something that makes the game unique. I know that everyone likes to shit on Syndicate because of the traversal and the grapple hook, but I'm gonna put my neck out there and say that I actually love it because the grappling hook adds a different kind of variety to the game and it makes it stand out between the other Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, it makes the parkour too easy and kind of forces you to not use it in the first place and just grapple everywhere, but in my opinion, it adds a lot to the feeling of the game and making the traversal feel unique. My point with this specific issue is that I want the next game to feel like I can't have that traversal in any other game. I can't have the traversal that we have in Unity in any other game because it's so nicely done and so deep and engaging. I can't have the traversal that we had in Black Flag with the ships because I can't have it in any other game, I guess until Skull and Bones releases. Point is, I would like to have new traversal options in the new game and if they would bring back the Unity parkour system and add to that the option to play with your friends in the open world, that would make the open world itself just infinitely replayable and infinitely more fun. And that connects to a lot of different stuff that I have an issue with with the newer games, and mainly the lack of tools. I don't like that the last few games have been kinda limiting when it comes to what you can do in the open world as you fight people. It feels like the open world is just too not dynamic. In the older games I like just jumping around, climbing random shit, assassinating people, and I think the parkour really adds to that. So that's my number three feature that I would like to see return in the new game. Feature number two that I would like to see return, and I can't believe that I have to say this, side quests. I don't care if it Templar hunts or random side quests like we had in Odyssey, just something outside of the main quest. I don't know where it went with Valhalla and Mirage. After you finish Valhalla and Mirage, you can do the collectible usual Ubisoft hunts, but there are no side quests. I don't mean that there are no like random things that you can do in the open world, I mean actual side quests with characters, with stories and conclusions and effects on the world. I have no idea why they removed it in Valhalla and Mirage. The only side quest that I can think about in Mirage is the one with Alibaba, but that's a pre-order quest. And the only one that I can think of in Valhalla is also a pre-order quest with a Berserker mission. And I think that's kind of blowing my mind. Where are the side quests in these games? It really scares me that the next game will not have any side quests. After you finish the main story, you should be able to play through side quests to experience the world and continue interacting with people. It's one of my favorite things to do in Black Flag and Odyssey. Just finishing the game and going around, talking to random people, solving their issues, having fun, experiencing the world that I haven't experienced throughout the main story. It really is mind-blowing that they took it out in Valhalla and I hope to god that they bring it back in red. If that is not back, I can guarantee the game is gonna be boring as shit. Not that Valhalla and Mirage are bad, mind that, but it would be really boring, so I would love to have side quests back. They are inspired after all from Witcher 3. And the one thing we all know famously about Witcher 3 is that the side quests are really good and they are on the same level as main quests. 
And actually, they could have solved it really easily with Valhalla, because most of the missions felt like side quests. They could have just taken out four or five orcs from England, put it as optional, then we would have had a more tight story and an option of side quests that we can do. Honestly, it would have solved a lot of the issues that the game has, but I guess that's too late now. Either way, I hope that they bring back side quests in the next game because it really adds to the world of the game. And after all, that's why I personally play Assassin's Creed, because I like to immerse myself in these open world historical settings and just experience the world with day-to-day -day NPCs and stuff and problems that they have. And last but not least is the faction system from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know Assassin's Creed Odyssey isn't the best one, it's not the most liked one, it's not the most famous one, but you cannot convince me that the faction missions were not fun. I love having the option to go to a specific area, side with one faction, either being the Spartans or the Athenians, and assassinate the leader of the other faction, take over camps, push them out of the region, and then end it up all with a big mess of battles that you can fight in that faction. Be in a sea battle or a land battle, both were fun. But just having that option, having that feeling that you can influence the world and who controls it, having the option to infinitely replay this kind of game between the two factions really added a lot to the world and really added to the end game stuff that you can do. Most of my Assassin's Creed playthroughs end with the main story, and I think that's really a bit of a shame, because I would love to experience more stuff with Ezio, with Altair, with Kenway, with all of them, but after you finish most of the side quests, there is not much to do in these games, other than replaying it or like min-maxing it with 100% completion, stuff like that. But with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, we had the option to do this infinitely, even after you finish the game, you can go to an area that you experienced and liked, to a specific island or to a mountain, some place that you love in the game, go side yourself with a faction and help them gain control of the area. Or help them lose control of the area, you can do whatever you want. Now the only issue I can think of with this system is that it's gonna be really hard to implement it story-wise, because you have to have a main character who's basically not fully with one faction but also can be considered with one faction and also be important enough to influence the effect that these wars have so it is kind of hard to put it in story-wise but if they manage to do it like they did in Odyssey I think it's an amazing system I really love it still to this day and it's the best system that Odyssey introduced by far I have a lot of stuff that I love about Odyssey but this thing Really, they have to bring it back, because it makes the game infinitely replayable. Any kind of infinitely replayable mission that isn't tower defense from Assassin's Creed Revelations is fun. I like it, and I think this is the number one feature that I would love to see return in the new game, with a massive open world that we're probably gonna get, and hopefully with ship combat that we're gonna get, hopefully. Imagine having this system on a new generation of Assassin's Creed, just allowing you to play this game till you get bored of it till the end of time, influencing the world, making decisions, beating factions. It would be fun as hell, and I really hope it returns. So all in all, those are the five features that I would love to see return in the next Assassin's Creed. I really hope at least one of them returns, and I really hope if all of them return, it would make the game a straight up 10 out of 10 for me. I wouldn't even care what the story is or who the main character is. It would be a 10 out of 10 straight off. So either way, those are my five options. Let me know what your five are. I tried to narrow it down. I have more stuff that I would like to see return, but these five are my top five and I'm really excited for the next game and I really can't wait to play it. But for now, that's it. If you're interested in more Assassin's Creed videos, check out the channel. That's kind of my thing. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Other videos are on your screen right now. And as always, have a nice day.